<laughs> like waiting for someone to do something. I thought that was really uncomfortable. <laughs> normally open, don't you, Zach? What's up? Don't you normally open? Well, you're also hosting the show. <sighs> okay, Kapersky showed up on my computer now. Shh, fuck you, Kapersky. Um, oh my god, this is the fourth pop-up. Stop. Hey, Mike, um, how about okay, you so this is episode 11. Okay. And uh, I want to say two things before we get started. One is we're going to be opening a new segment, which is completely my idea. And Zachary's like, eh, no one's going to say anything, which is probably true. But uh, um, we, if you have any questions, we'll actually answer them. Yeah. I know only two people who watch us consistently right now. Um, Dale Hydra and my mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Jeremy's the other one who watches consistently. But uh, I don't know if he's seen all of them. I you know he leaves comments. Yeah. Um, and I, like so, we're gonna. If you have any questions, leave them below. Like, ask as many as you want. You can ask stupid questions too. You do not have to take us seriously, and we'll answer them in the next show. And we'll just keep doing that from now on. I think we'll, we we should like save that maybe for like the end though. You'll look, you'll, you'll repeat I don't all this at the end of the duckcast if you if you remember at least. I'll going. say it one more time at the end of the podcast. Yes, so leave comments in the comments below here if you have any. If you don't, oh well, we just won't do it then. Um, we're not bugging you guys about it. And the other thing I want to say before I shut up and let these two talk um, is, Hail Hydra, thank you for watching. We have not acknowledged you yet in a video. Um, actually, I do talk about you briefly in the second episode of Derailed, which isn't out yet. But uh, yeah, I really wanted to mention you in episode ten, but I, I we all forgot, and I feel really bad. Um, you were awesome, dude. Uh, keep up the support. Love you. Yeah, you have been checking out a lot of our stuff lately. We really appreciate. Like, you come to my channel. You were on Bemis. He was on Bemis one hundred. He's come to my comments. channel a few times. Yeah, <laughs> leaving some comments. So that's cool. I really, I really, we really appreciate it, man. Um, Jeremy, thank you too. You've been catching up with the Duck Cast. I know you're in the Duck Cast for an episode as a Never guest. Again, um, I hate and that speaking guy of so which, <laughs> why is everyone so mean to Jeremy? Because Jeremy sucks. I know it's always a. The other one, you remember the freaking, the, remember the freaking Let's Play me Austin and Stuart did where he joined the call, and then Austin yelled at him to go away. <laughs> I do. That was great. <laughs> like, Jeremy has done nothing wrong, and everyone likes to be a dick to him as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, we love you, man. Um, finally getting to this, Brent's yeah. been here without saying anything, because we, we just keep rambling on. Yeah, so who's My our good special <laughs> guest here? Our special guest is Brent, and while Chris is kind of the person that Zachary knows in person, Brent is the person I know in person. If you watch my videos, you know that, because this guy's been on a lot of them. He plays yeah, a douchebag in a he plays a douchebag in a tank top and also Elliot. Uh-huh. What? He's not talking about <laughs> on, on the, Brent, the just so you know, he's not talking about in a video, he's talking about like in in real life. Okay. <laughs> I know, but he, don't don't talk down on the tank tops. They're comfortable. <laughs> I, God. I don't think tank tops are comfortable, but I do hear you. Um, I had to wear a tank top during Spirit of the Psycho, start to finish, and it was, I didn't like it. Personally, yeah, so miniskirts, but you know. I have lost almost 30 pounds now. Well, that's awesome. Though, just to, just to be fair about the whole fat comments, I hope next time I see you I'm not chubby anymore, but pro I think you're coming in May. Yeah. So I'll probably still be chubby. I'm going to be the last time I to try and take one last look at it. You get over here. <laughs> you, just, you just get fatter I doubt and you just it. blow it up. Um, I'll fill all of your food with lard. <laughs> Zachary, you have a story to tell us. Oh boy, do I ever. Okay, so Brent, Brent might be a bit like, um, this might go over your head, Brent, because um, it has some things to do with what I do at cons sometimes. But I'm just going to say it anyway because I don't really care about you. So, um... So what, for people that don't really know what I do when I go to conventions, like, first of all, I have a YouTube channel, Ziffprod. I'll It's in the description in every single DuckCast. Just please subscribe because I'm lonely and I love people. Someone lock Hold on. Hi, I'm on a recording thing. Thank you for the popcorn. This is very <laughs> awkward. Oh my goodness, I love popcorn, guys. This is awesome. I could be, like, drama alert now. Eating my popcorn when you're saying, like, a sad story about, like, your dead grandparents or something. Steam star! 
Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that could not have happened at the <laughs> any other time. All right. What, what was I even saying? Where was I? Talk about your convention store. You just basically all you said basically it's going to go over Brent's head and that you're better than him. <laughs> Good. Because okay. you're right being. So, yeah. oh yeah. So <laughs> I have a channel called Zip Pride, and I do a bunch of stuff on it. And um, <clears throat> and one of the things I do on it is that I go to cons and I. I used to interview people, now I do more of like a geeky quiz thing, more of a fun thing, and I also uh, do this other thing where um, I have a friend dressed up as Lord Death from Soul Eater, and uh, we have him hold up a sign that says free death hugs, because there's a lot of free hug signs at cons and whatever. We do a gimmick with it, because we're weird like that, and um, we've done this since <clears throat> since November of 2012. Um, now, uh, 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 I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. A week or two ago, whatever. Um, I was at this con called Hatsume Fair. It's like an outdoor event. It was technically a festival, but whatever. Um, we did the de free death hugs there that we've that we've been doing since uh, 2013. There we've been coming back there since 2013 every single time. Free death hugs, free death hugs. Um, so the first day of that con, we are doing a couple free death hugs. You know, he's holding up the sign. I'm following him around with the camera. And uh, all of a sudden, we're walking, and then these two women who are driving in these little uh, carts, like not like a golf cart, but just, you know, a cart that the volunteers drive in, and uh, they pull up to us, and they say, hey, you guys, uh, sorry for bothering you, but uh, we can't have you hold up this sign. It's scaring the kids. And uh, they were nice about it. They were cool. We said, like, okay, yeah, yeah, we will. Um, even though when they drove off, we still snuck in a bunch, but, um, I, uh, here, here's the thing. I completely understand, but at the same time, it, it is a bit weird because, uh, the day before that day, I posted on my Facebook page, my YouTube's Facebook page, Zifprod, and I posted like, hey, we're going to Hatsume Fair, we're going to be doing free death hugs, blah, blah, blah. The place that runs the event and hosts the event and whatnot, uh, the Murakami even liked the post I made. So they were completely okay with me doing this. And again, I've been coming back since 2013 and been doing the free death hooks since November of 2012. So it's like I've been doing this forever and never had a complaint. Never, ever. I swear to God, never. Uh, in fact, we always get people coming up to us saying like, hey, thank you for bringing the, the, the laughs and the happiness. Like, legit. Legit. They actually do. And, uh, it, it's great, and then this thing happens, and it's like, it's not terrible, I'm not crying about it, but it's just, it's always weird, because now I have to be s looking around for these volunteers, or for people working there, making sure we're not around them, so then we could do this thing for a montage that we want to do, because we're the entertainers, and without us, honest to God, this event would be so boring. It, it, look, events are great, but... After events, like photos and videos online are so much better because you get to really relive the events. And I love that whole outlook on that kind of thing. That's why I love doing it. I also love getting people um, sharing their stuff around because people love it. People really love it. Every time we give out a card, every time we get a hug, you see the look on people's faces. They're so happy. And before that, they're so the bored. What's up? I have seen the montage. It's true. Yeah. Uh... But no, even after the fact, like even with the cameras off, there's, look, I, I notice things more than what people think I do. I, I notice people are legitimately happy and they see like, okay, there's something really entertaining at these events for once, you know, because it's, it's just hot out. First of all, it's again, it's an outdoor event, so it's just really hot out and you're just, you're like, oh, the f lines are so long and oh, these, these kids are so annoying. And what? It's, what? <laughs> um, what else say about the whole thing? Um, and I've never been to a convention. I don't really know how good my word is on this. Uh, but I think the best way to handle this situation is one, I said this over the message before and really the reason that happened is it could have been like one parent who had a weird problem with it. It, it. most likely was, uh, but what's funny about that saying that out loud is that 
not too long, like a minute or two before they came up to us, there was this little girl with her mom, and she was a bit hesitant on, like, hugging Lord Death, and then she actually got the courage to at least high-five him, so that's, like, encouraging self-confidence. But it's up to them who had the complaint. I know, I know, it's not, I, I'm not saying it was them, I'm just saying it's funny how, like, they're saying, you're scaring kids, and yet there's this kid who not too long before they came up to us were saying, like, hey, this guy's, these guys are cool, self-confidence. I understand that. And I understand that. I hear where you're coming from, and I do think you're right about this for the most part. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'll say, though, is the people who told you to stop, if someone makes a complaint, they have to act on yeah. that, or else do not doing their job well. What I would say the best way to handle it is is to contact the people who run the convention. Maybe send them an email. I'm sure there's some way to contact them. Tell them about what you do. Ask them if it's okay. And if they give you a response saying yes, print it out. And, like, show it to them if someone ever tells you you can't do it. Mm -hmm. So I have permission from the con holders themselves. You were lagging up a bit. So or at least someone who... Am I good now? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you froze for a second. Um, so, how would we know if you froze for a second, Brent? We can't see you. <laughs> No, you froze for a second, bro. Oh, okay. If I said, did I froze? <laughs> but that's what I think. Bro, no, I anything to add? Oh, not really. Just that, that, that's a tricky situation. Look, it, I it's I know it, what it you're saying. Like I know what you're saying. Like emailing them. First of all, I'm just too nervous to do that because like I I honestly to, honestly God, I think they'll be fine with it. And plus, I, I I even said it in the video in the vlog at the end of the vlog I did I, I mentioned all this before, but um there was this guy afterwards that we met up with. He was like a photographer for the event, also volunteering. And we asked him about it and he was like, you know, it's it's fine. It's totally fine. I don't know what they were thinking. And um, he even took a picture of us to give to the people that ran the event and to be like, you know, hey, there's these guys that are, here's their problem, blah, blah, blah. And um, I gave him my number, which was on my business card. And uh, he said, you'll probably get a call from them, you know. And I never did, but... I guess that's fine because, you know, didn't have to go through a whole spiel about that. But, um, I don't know. There's just, I, I it's like the, again, they, they liked the post I did. They were completely fine about me doing this. And then the two women that are representing the event coming up to me and being like, no, you actually can't do this. I just don't get, I, I, there's, there's one thing, like, I understand you're volunteering. It's kind of your job, but at the same time, one person's opinion, and then may maybe wanting to come up to us and ask our side of the story about it would have been even better to see, you know, compare, like, are these guys doing this because they're jerks, or are they doing this because they're trying to be entertainers, which is good for the event. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I guess they just probably didn't, like, think about it that much. They didn't. But, it, it, they just, yeah. they were kind of, they were again, they were very nice about it. They were very straightforward. Um... But I just it's you want weird man the thought process. You want to hear a funny story about like people reacting to I know no one told me I had to stop when this happened, but it's still a funny story and I might have told it before. I don't think Brent's ever heard it before though. Okay. Probably not. Um, have I? I know you have Zach Brent. Did you ever see the trilogy of insanity video on my channel? I did not. Okay, like there's this one part that we filmed at the, the Borough Park where we filmed with you and Joanne with Four Across the Fourth Wall. Um, it was for Luke's project, and it involved Nick running around the park and coming across a guy wearing a Plague Doctor costume, a Pigeon costume, and the Death costume that we have. And I, you remember this one, right, Zach? Mm. So, <laughs> no one told us to stop, but it's still funny. There was this crowd of people there, and they were waiting like this one, one place at the top of the hill that we were filming at. And we were filming this video, dressed in these weird costumes around the park, and no one was really around us. And we actually like we feel like we were really lucky that no one decided to come to the park today. The very second we w walked up to Nick's car to leave, those people started to walk down. They were waiting for us to go away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's it's funny because I've been to the like their same position, not yours, but theirs. Like because um for the Wally effect, there were some scenes that we had to film at the park, and um there's a lot of times that are just bad timing, like either cars driving by or kids actually coming to the playground or just people coming to the playground just to chill and hang out. Seeing us with seeing us, 
How dare they? But they're seeing us with like cameras and a tripod, and they're like not thinking. These guys are trying to do something, you know, their own time. They're trying to really get this done, and they're we're just sitting on the bench, just like casually with our arms like crossed, just kind of waiting, and we just eventually give up, you know. You 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 can't you can't. I'm sorry. I, I know you it's can't not do. like my um. What's it? When kids go to a playground, they're going to go on a playground. They're not going to care if you're First filming videos, First of all, these videos, kids were like man. 11 or 12. Oh, yeah, they, they are too care. old for a playground. They should be at home playing video games or, or doing homework. <laughs> this oh, was wow. a school day, dude. Are you kidding me with this? They were not 6. They were 11 or 12. Honest to God. And they're playing like, ooh, robots or something. I don't know. A boss at that playground. God. Playing around and filming at it. The good thing with us is we're just really out there for our videos if people want to stay the fuck away from us. Yeah. I remember, like, weird looks. We, we didn't get too many weird looks for this because there weren't that many people around, but I do remember getting some weird looks from two adults with their kid when we bully video, Brent. Which one? The bully video where you were bullying Fred on the playground. <laughs> oh, no. This is Webster territory. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Yeah, we, we, got a, we got a weird stare down. Yeah. I've never had anyone tell me to stop doing what I'm doing. I have had one person when me, Nick, and David were filming something in like a long time ago, like 2010, I think, where two people rolled their uh, windows down and yet two homosexual faggots having sex with each other. What? I don't think they saw David, so they said two. What? Yeah, no, that's exactly what they said it pissed me off so much and i remember it still we were filming the worst part is we weren't even doing anything weird with the video we were filming it was just we were uh, as ourselves filming a video like we weren't wearing a costume or anything um i remember um, a lot of filming uh, with teddy in front of his house the epic fail ninjas thing if you remember that like years ago and uh no one no one interrupted us or anything but his neighbor I remember very clearly, like Teddy had pointed out, his neighbor was looking from like his backyard, just watching us film in his lounge chair. Just this 40, 50 year old man, just like in a chair, just looking at us from far away. And I just remember like setting up shots and always looking at the corner of my eye, like, is this older man just looking at us wearing masks? Okay, cool, cool. It was just really awkward. Have you ever gotten those instances where you're just doing a scene and people are just staring at you? Not waiting for you to leave, just staring you at you because they're entertained. Um, entertained? I don't think so. Mm. Stare yeah, definitely not when I was there. Yes. What? Definitely not entertained when I was there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. For across the fourth wall, we had a whole camp of kids walking by. I think, I think you were there for that day, Brent. Oh, shit, I was. But they were very awesome people who walked around the shot. And this, we talked to them briefly. Um, but they didn't watch us act. I'm trying to think of like a time where maybe we got laughs for what we were doing. I don't think so. No. I think people are just generally weirded out by us. Um, mm. I've, oh, yeah, when, we went to the, when we went to the Burrow Park with Fred before he, he dropped out, we, we, we oh. got up on that one platform and everyone just like walked by. Just like, what the hell is going on over there? <laughs> I thought you were saying dropped out of school, but no, he did drop out of across the fourth wall. That's right. Yeah. Um, he um, yeah, he's actually in the next Bemis and Company episode that I'm working on right now. He's the main character in that. But uh, with um, we got, we got Freddy back. That's good. Kind of. Um, <laughs> I don't know how often he's going to appear, but he was. He to be fair, he has been in like three major uploads in a row now. Well, he's not in the in, first. He's been in Cameraman. And across the fourth wall. Yeah. But he went from like a 40, like main role to 40 second role. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lol. Lols. But, um, God, what are some funny well, behind the I, I would like to hear uh, about Brent's channel. Like, I just want to hear, like, the creator yeah. of the channel's opinions of his own channel, what he's planning to do. I have some to say. Behind oh, the back. scenes of gaming channels, do it. What's your channel, What's by the way? Acratic <laughs> Entertainment, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that, it, I ha I'm doing that with my friend Corey. Mm. I, what were you gonna say, Mackle? I like you and Corey, and I think you're. Um, I think Joanne does a good job of putting the videos together. Yeah. But I think that they're like way too short and don't happen enough. Uh, oh damn. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 
<laughs> I've been, um, we actually recorded something else. We recorded a lovers in a dangerous space time. Sorry, my window's open. I realize everyone's yeah. here. Any, anyone in our neighborhood can hear me right now. <laughs> We, Welcome uh, to the duck cast. Record. What? There's a duck live to Creekside. Okay, Brengo, I'm sorry. We recorded "Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time," and it's like a good two hours worth of footage. And I used, I I started editing because Joanne's pretty fucking lazy <laughs> about it. Damn, but we like, got that I, on I, camera. I got done. <laughs> just gonna upload. I tell her that. We're just going to upload this in, like, a bunch of remixes you know, <laughs> all over the internet. Like, Joanne is so fucking lazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love the video. No. Your breakup all in the many remixes. <laughs> no, but, like, I went, I went through it. I edited it. And then my fu- I, like, I had a miniature hard drive crash. And I lost every video that I made and lost most of my important files. Oh, that Shit. sucks. Yeah, so... I hate that. I've been putting that off. Yeah, that, that's me. That's me right now. <laughs> God. Um, do you, do, do you ever uh, need help with an do do intro? Things? Ask me. Wait, what? Have you seen? If you ever need help with an intro, ask me, Brent. Have, I don't. I doubt it. Um, I don't expect anyone to. Have you seen any of the Undertale Let's Play? Um, I saw episode eight because I was curious. Huh. Okay. Did you see? I watched for five seconds. I was like, nah, man, nah. Did you watch the intro though? No. Oh, the intro's at the beginning, so you watch for five seconds. <laughs> I don't know how he would miss that. The very second you click on the video, it's like right there. No, 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 no. Okay. First of all, Comcast never loads anything properly. Oh, as soon damn, as I click now on you're anything. blaming Comcast? You don't even take responsibility, Brent? <laughs> Loser? Dude, it is! Oh my god. I'm, I'm a part of the weird part of Tennessee that has the fucking data cap. So I'm okay, sitting there, Mike. and I'm trying to watch a video, and it's like, Oh man, you used 100% of your data. Okay. <laughs> um, the Undertale Let's Play. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out, though. I think that you and Corey are good. Good, though. I think that like you could have a good channel. You just need to produce longer content and more frequently if you want to do it. Yeah, shots fired. That's Joanne. She was doing um, she was doing it by chapter, not by any specific. Like, uh oh. She doesn't want to make short videos. She was doing it by chapter. That that makes sense, actually. Yeah, well, uh, my Undertale Let's Play, like, it, the episodes never know when to... F I never know when to fucking end them, though, so I just, like, end them randomly. You should have, like, a stopwatch, like, just, like, look <laughs> yeah. until it's, like, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you know? I just make them as long as I feel like they should be. Like, I'm like, okay... Well, don't uh, you, like, look at the Bandicam? Like, it tells you, like, how long you've been recording on the top. Um, well, I mean, I, I have all the recordings done. I, I'm talking about, like... I, I, well, you know, like, future recordings, like, you know... It's talking about post-production, because we, like, our recordings very messed up. Like, I, 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 like, there's a lot of editing to do, because I, we record in, like, ten-minute parts. Um, and we have a better... By the way, I don't know if I've said this before, Undertale is completely in Bandicam, except the final episode where me and Nick fight Sans is going to be with a new software... And I shouldn't have said that we had because I was I was it was actually revealed that we were doing a genocide run. You're just gonna see the last episode with like no bandicam <laughs> watermark. Like I'm pretty sure people will know, but you know. But second let's play, which um I hope Brent doesn't give me too much shit for this. Oh, is oh gonna, no, I'm gonna give you so much fucking shit for it, dude. It's because we're doing Sims three for our second one. <laughs> Boom. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. But we're not doing the Wii version. We're doing the computer. Yo, I, I talked to Corey about it. He wants to do the single player uh -huh. part of the, the Sims 3 for the Wii. And just because it is... The actual game. Yeah, it's the actual game. Like, you actually make a Sims. But the issue with it, it's in, like, it's extremely low res. Yeah. And, and we're playing it on a... Uh, on a HD TV, so you see every flaw that oh, me, goes up. Me and Nick's Let's Play is like... When me and Nick did Undertale, it was mainly Nick playing, and occasionally me and Nick would kind of get into a stupid argument, but it'd be over something stupid, and we weren't really fighting. We were just kind of goofing around. In Sims 3, I genuinely get pissed at Nick often. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick gets pretty mad at me too, but not as mad as I get at him. Um, we might want to cut this one pretty short soon, although we do have a lot of footage already. We played for four hours one night. 
Uh, and so like, far, I'm on episode uh, four. Like, I've seen the first three. Yeah, I don't expect people to watch this. By the way, we're doing it. For it's just spawn. because they're like um, so am... long. Like, game. Yeah. What, what's good about Game, game Grumps is like they go up to like ten to fifteen minutes, and that's mm-hmm. a good amount of time. Like when it's yeah. when it's at like near it's nearing what... a twenty mark, it's like Ugh, I'm I'm gonna watch this when I have time. You know. Yeah. Uh, there's an episode coming up that's only like. I think like 14 minutes long. That's fine. I might. I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe for Sims 3, I'll make them like 10 episodes. For for Undertale, there's so much like to be done that I kind of want to make them all 20 minutes long. Um, Sims 3 is interesting. Not nearly as interesting as the game I got with me, you, Cody, and Chris. As just and Squidward, I put Squidward in too. <laughs> um, okay. God. Just for the hell of it. Okay. Um, and I, I installed mods to it. Zach and Cody are horrible human beings. Michael and oddly Michael, Michael's a Miguel's a piece of shit in this me and Nick's let's play. But in my version of the game, he's actually a decent human. Chris is like a very friendly person. Like everyone loves Chris. Every, oh, that's a change. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was waiting, Damn it, you stole my joke. <laughs> I was one of you. And I guess all three of us had it. Oh boy. <laughs> We're but, original. Um, I installed a bunch of mods to Sims 3. Mm-hmm. Um, and I installed one that allows characters to murder other characters. <laughs> oh, that's the best mod. Yeah. Aggressive. Like, you can do... You don't always just have to murder them. But you like It's like a bunch of options. Like, you can have them punch each other in the face. You can have them... Like, there's already, like, ways characters can fight each other in the game, but it's in a very cartoonish way. This, like, makes it look not cartoonish at all. Mm-hmm. And one of them is, like, a few of them, the one I have used is snap their neck. And oh, then someone just crack their neck, and it's really stark. Awesome. And then their ghosts will show up. Um, Cody, Cody is the creepiest one. He's been to prison three times. Um, he is literally employed as a criminal. And um, my character got married in the game. And one night where my character was having sex, Cody just walked into the room and watched. Just like real life. <laughs> he was just like standing in the room, just like... <laughs> 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 um, but Zachary's the worst one. Why? Because Zachary got, got married and then divorced his wife almost a, like a day later. Well, she deserved then it. Immediately... <laughs> and then the next one, she, he married a second time and then he murdered that wife. Okay, well she deserved it too. I mean, she all was, get, she was learning all, things she shouldn't have learned. Out of, all, <laughs> out of all five members, Zachary is the only one who's a murderer. And because in the game, though, it doesn't acknowledge it as a kill, so you don't go to prison for it. Mm-hmm. Like, you murdered her right in front of everyone in the house, and no one knows that you did it because, of, like, that's just the way the mod works. Let's take an out-of-context thing. So, like, me talking about the two women that were volunteering that told us to do the not do the free death hooks thing, and now us talking about murder, so we put that all in a sentence, and it's like, I want to murder the two no, 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 no. women that were volunteering for a hot and then about I'll that. get sued, or I'll probably go to prison, you know? About. That's not the thing that you joke about. <laughs> They're gonna see this, it's, just, it's fine. They have a good sense of humor, I'm sure. I am not <laughs> on this. That is words from Zachary. No. And Mackle. And I will... Completely mackle. Nope. Let's edit it together. I didn't say that. No. <laughs> Just out maybe context. cut out. That was so Sorry. out of context, dude. You have no idea. You want some popcorn, by the way? Anyone? No. <laughs> Just don't put it in the video. I was waiting for you guys to like reach over in your webcam. Like, oh, oh yeah, let me reach through my webcam. Cool. cool. <laughs> you like that watermelon, by the way? Nice watermelon. Anyway. Yeah. Hold on. I'm hitting A. Can by you hear way, me grabbing Mike, your I wanted, destiny? Mike, I wanted to tell you. Um, my my friend Sky, like I was hanging out with her and Teddy and someone else, like we were just all together on Sunday, and then I just randomly said the whole "Did you ever have have a dream?" video, like just referenced it, and then she like, like slowly turned to look at me and she was like, "You would, you watch, you would," and just all day we kept like mentioning it to each other because like I, other than you guys, like I I've never met someone in person that also has seen that video, and I was like so happy. Just yes, all day correct. we were doing that. Every day I want to kill myself. Oh yeah. And that's every not, day that's, I, that's not but, a song. That's a that's an actual um expression that we like to um live every day. Do you want to hear a great song, Brent? Sure. Oh, you're gonna play it? Okay. Yeah, why not? We already. Thing. 
take um, 10 minutes to load it up, and then another 10 minutes to play it, because you're going to play it over, over, and over in a loop. It'll be great. How are you doing today, Brent? I'm fine. Um, what did you I, do I today, know. Brent? Um, I went mini golfing with my family. Boring. Mini I also had dive sucks. food, and man, oh man, my asshole's gonna burn later. That was so fucking spicy. <laughs> okay. So we're not gonna have Brent on ever again because oh boy. I got this. Hey man, we were. I, w I was producing a real talk with you, and you have to take it or leave it. Oh yeah. I, you. I, I agree. Here, I'm gonna play a song now. Cool. Happy. <laughs> Well, you gotta play the rest of it. By the way, before he sung the song, he was like, "Play me something happy." He was like, "Happy? Okay." So he just that was all improvised. <laughs> by the way, the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. well, your, your song is great. Yeah. I have been. Wa I I started watching Nameless. Um, and I watched the shitty ones first because like the first three were just something you put together real quick. I am, I'm on the fourth one now, and I heard that one's bad, too. But I hear five, six, and seven are good. Yeah. Um, Yo, Tom and Patasia makes me laugh my ass off, and I really don't know why. Um, I watched all of his birthday videos, because every birthday he writes a song. And it gets, like, they actually get really dramatic as it goes on, which is interesting. It's, like, the most dramatic thing I've ever heard, seen him do. Uh, I got I got into Yotam by watching Weisenheimers, which is a show with Yotam Perel, aka Lazy Pillow, and Max Gilardi, aka Hot Diggity Demon. They're both animators. Um, and I started watching the show like completely uninterested in Yotam and only liking Max because I watched Hot Diggity, Diggity Demon since like 2011. Um, and then by the end of the actually 2010, it's been since 2010. Um, by like where I'm at right now. I still love both of them, but I almost like I almost feel like I like Yo Tom a little bit more. I uh, after after you showing me those uh, animations he did those improvs ones I forgot the name of them it was like a male and female name. Yeah, Yo Tom Fantasia. Yeah, after seeing those I I want to check out more of his st stuff I just haven't had time. Um, I think when it comes to style Hot Diggy Demon's a more talented animator, but well, I still really I still really admire Yo Tom's work. Um, and by the way, like what I, was, I, I think I still do like Max a little bit more from Weisenheimer's. Like, I, the, the thing is, it's a show where you have these two people who really can't get along with each other. Every episode they argue, and sometimes it gets personal. Um, well, do you like him? Do you like Max more because of animation or because of comedy? I don't. Uh, I don't know because they both like give different senses of humor, and like both of them kind of apply to me weirdly. Mm. Um, a, like a lot of people, your fanciness, as they say. <laughs> It really doesn't matter which one I prefer because honestly I don't know, and I like both of them. Um, I will say, like near the beginning of the show, like I'd say, like for the first, I'm like I'm getting close to episode thirty, and there's only forty seven episodes. But uh, I will say, like I'm, as I'm getting closer to the end, I'm noticing kind of a switch in between between roles. Like in the early episodes, Yo Tom's kind of a fucking dick to Max, mm -hmm. but he's doing it like to be funny, and then Max like sometimes takes it personally. And then when he starts to take it personally, Yo Tom continues to do it, but to, tries to make it worse on purpose. And I think as the show goes on, Max starts to finally get sick of it, so he goes out of his way to like get um do the same thing to Yo Tom, but even worse than what Yo Tom did to him. Mm. And like there are like, these two children almost having these st stupid arguments. Everything okay? <laughs> yeah, I heard footsteps. I was wondering if someone's. Gonna knocking on my door it's not Brent, too late your opinion go i don't think you know i, I, I have no idea great <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. top topics that you have nothing to say about brent okay here this is well, what i think okay the let's, get, let's is, give brent the option brent. right now let's give brent the option right now to like uh come up with a subject for us to talk about right now <laughs> no, so then we could all agree to be like oh i have an opinion on this and that and blah blah the main reason brent's here 
Um, and I would love to have him on for like an actual topic episode where I'll meet you and Zach and I'll talk about it again. Because actually I've liked, you, you've been good on the show today. I haven't said a lot, but every time you have said something, I've actually right. enjoyed it. Yeah. You've contributed. But uh, um, the reason he's on today, wait, me and him. Wait, are, wait, does that mean that Senpai noticed me? Yeah. yeah. But uh, the th main, main reason is because once we're done with this, we're recording something for his gaming channel. Hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I got I bought a game for him too to play. Um, because the, the, the game is gonna be so fun. Me, don't even lie. Put put enters yeah, the gosh dang race. Me. He bought me dinner one night, and he said instead of pay, pay me back, buy this game and we'll play it. And I was like, okay. And he said it was like a five dollar game, but it was ended up being I guess it was on sale because it was thirteen dollars. It was wow. It w you you're gonna have fun with that game. You're gonna want to play that game more often than you think. I press the E button. And makes the duck quack and i like that <laughs> so oh, i will probably have some minor amusement from it i actually recorded a little video of it just just like me i haven't played the actual game yet but i've tested the controls um it sounds lovely i think it's a game where you, like brent says you play as a duck and you kill other ducks <laughs> the duck controls are easy then. okay it's like the controls in the game because they're basic they're so simple mm. yeah. um do you have a it's easier to play with a controller. I don't have a controller. Well, you're fucked. Oh, damn. Rest in peace. <laughs> you fuck. No, I said you're I, fucked. Oh, I God, don't they're fuck. arguing. You fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck, come. Stop. Please. Why can't we agree? Ooh, Welcome to drama have... alert. Oh, boy. Shackle, I'm uh, sorry. I love you. Okay, let's think of something to say. Oh, yeah, yeah but like, you do that. Let's think of a new top. Uh, Thank you for reciprocating my love. Yo, Tom and Max are great, okay. though. Uh, I didn't finish saying what I wanted to say. They're both great, and you guys should all watch them. Brent, I don't know if you'd like either of them. Probably not. Your sense of humor confuses me. Some stuff that I, fi I would figure you would like, you hate, and then some things I fi figured that you uh, would hate, you like. So you just you're just random. Yeah. Hey, hey Brent. Hello. Um. Do you watch Doctor Who? <laughs> I do not. Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. There was only want to mention quickly about like possibly a conversation, well, but I wait, guess only wait. I gotta mention it because it's not gonna be a conversation because no one gives a gosh darn. Wait, I I I understand. I understand what happens. Yeah. But I, I I'm not into it. Okay. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Um, you know what I do like though. I like Sherlock. Anyone here see the BBC series? No, I don't. I don't. It's on Netflix right now, and it's. I always thought Sherlock was a boring character, um, but the show they have, uh, and it's not a Netflix original or anything. I think it's on. I think, like I said, I think it's on BBC. Um, it's fantastic. The Sherlock in that show is like one of the most interesting characters I've ever seen in my life. Like, yeah. great. Does, show. does he retain his addiction to cocaine? I don't know. I don't think so. He doesn't seem like it. <laughs> a friend at Hatsume Fair told me, like, hey, do you watch Sherlock? And I'm like, no, and they're like, I hate you. I think the movies, I've seen, like, some of the stuff, I think they're boring, I don't I, like them. I like them. the second one, though. The first one's kind of boring, I like the second one, though. I think the show mm -hmm. is fantastic. I've just never been into Sherlock as a character. I thought he was kind of a boring character. Um, like, in the show, he's fantastic. Like, and the, and the, the side characters are great, too. Um, you know what other show I've been watching lately that's really good? What? Um, anyone here ever see Bob's Burgers? Oh, hell yeah. Good, good. I was like, you, oh. you're taking a risk when you say that, because some people be like, oh, hell yeah, and then some people be like, ugh. It's more popular popular than hated, though. Um, yeah, and that, I just, that show is an art. It's fantastic. I'm actually going to go as far to say I think it, like, it's either as good as the old Simpsons or better. I, don't, I never liked The Simpsons. But I, I adored The Simpsons. I don't like the new ones, um, but I love the old ones. I think Bob's Burgers is like... From the first season, for example, it's great. The Simpsons took a while before it got, got there. The first season's pretty bad. But, uh... Like the Simpsons, like to me, was like the best animated series for a long time. Just like I didn't, I didn't like, and even though it was like old and so simple, but it, it was just kind like, of a thing about it. Though at the time, it was like one of the only cartoons for adults. Family Guy wasn't out yet, you know. It was just its own thing. It was very original. It was a very, it was a, it was a good concept at the time, and then yeah. everyone mocked it. The thing I'll say though, and I said this on Facebook earlier, 
Fox made it look like it was going to suck. I didn't watch it for so many years because Fox advertised it as nothing but a bunch of characters, a bunch of loud characters who made noises. Which um, kind of is that, but ever, no, because like, but like Bob, Bob, the main character, like they have characters who have an obnoxious voices. Yeah. Not only do they kind of grip on you immediately, <laughs> um, but like the most of the lines are actually pretty calm because most of the lines are spoken by either Bob or Tina, yeah, and they're the ones with the deeper voices um the wife is probably the most obnoxious character and she took a little bit of time for me to like but i, I loved I, her immediately that uh new yorker Dude, accent it took me a while i thought she, I, you know what character i liked immediately actually and everyone told me it was going to take a while to like him i like gene <laughs> really pretty much oh. immediately the thing i think about gene though and i've talked about this with my brother before is I feel like most people I like, kind of th- see him as like this idiot. I actually don't. I don't. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't think Gene's like actually supposed to be a stupid character. I think he is just sarcastic 100 percent of the time and is always trying to make a joke out of everything. Like he's. I think it's a bit of both, like naive. Yeah, like I think that he. I, I do agree that there are some times where he does something that's like a little too weird to just be taken as he's being sarcastic, mm-hmm. but. I don't think he's like a total dipshit. I think that he's doing it on purpose. I think he's self-aware of what he's saying and that it's stupid. Hmm. I think he's I just think like, he's an evil genius. I think that he's a comedic, comedic guy. And then Luis is perfect after watching Gravity Falls. Yeah. <laughs> um, at Hatsume Fair, there was this dude walking around. My friend Sky kept pointing at him like, is that Jimmy Jr. cosplayer? And I kept thinking it was like Gene or something. And she like showed me a picture and I'm, I kept like, like doing, like looking back at the dude and looking back at the picture, and I'm like, no, but he doesn't. He's not wearing a, that the same colored shirt. And she's like, no, it's Jimmy Jr. <laughs> I'm just arguing over whether this guy's cosplaying as Jimmy Jr. or not. And I'm just, I'm just like, it's most likely just some dude in regular clothing. And she's like, no, it can't be. What's your, which are your guys' favorite episodes of Bob's Burgers? The one where oh um, Tina makes that science fair project uh, with the whole... It was like uncovering this big secret about the scientist and... This that was animal. that was Luis doing that. Yeah. yeah that's and that's my favorite one. episode, too. With the, with the electricity, right? I, I forget the, oh. what happened, but... Topsy, the elephant. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was the first episode I've ever watched, but... Um, Stay here! Yeah. It first I watched because my brother's... It's like the best episode, and it, yeah, it is. It it's is. such a good episode. But I haven't even seen that episode yet. <laughs> it's great, dude. It's, it's it feels like just coming from that episode. Like this is Bob's Burgers, you know. Like you get the main guys out there. If like um, what's it, Bob and uh, what's the God, the daughter who's the voice of in Gravity Falls too. I forget her name. Oh, Luis is the daughter. The only one I can't remember the name of is the, is the mother. That's yeah. the one I have a problem Linda. with. But, like, Linda. the two of them, they're, like, the main characters in the episode, and that's, like, the, the main characters the in the show, and I love all of them. Oh, God, I love all, I love all, I love yeah. all five of them. I was about to say six of them, but, uh, if yeah, all five. baby, like any other generic cartoon show for adults, they should have a baby. <laughs> I really, I'm really oh, wait, glad that they. Dad doesn't it, though. You know what show I don't like? What? I know, no, I not know what show trope I don't like. If you have a baby from the beginning, that's fine. But if you feel the need to add the baby as a new character, I always hate that. I don't think I've ever seen a show pull it off well. Breaking Bad. Okay, that's different though. Cause that's like a. <laughs> I mean, dude, it doesn't have to be a and cartoon show. Like, really, there wasn't a whole lot that Holly offered to it, other than making Walter White's situation shittier. It gave him gave him um, a new view on life because it's a newborn and metaphors and babies. And oh, so baby, I need to make twice as much math. <laughs> because now I have so much more to live for this baby. <laughs> um, Topsy's great though. I can't wait to do. Sorry to cut you off, but I can't wait till we get Austin onto the to the Breaking Bad uh, duckcast. That'll be fun. Yeah. I Just still like, gotta see. Better Call Saul season two, like once it's yeah. on Netflix. Dude, last episode. I, I will say this. I think season one's finale felt like a big, like a finale to the season. Season two finale seems like a finale to an episode. It doesn't feel like a season finale, but it's still really fucking good. Wait, so season two ended already? Yeah, oh, ten wow. episodes. Cool, cool. Um, 
Yeah, it's been ten weeks, believe it or not. But uh, fucking the top, the Topsy episode. I can't even say I love this. Like, but you told me to stop. You told me to stop. Um, do something about Topsy. I tell everybody about. I tell everybody about Topsy. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite? So Brent, so far favorite episode. Um, oh crap! I just had it in my head. <laughs> um, just so if everyone <laughs> forgot, we're selling Bob's Burgers. So yeah, because yeah, um, we've been detouring. I, I got it. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember it correctly. Take your time. It's a while. not like we have any time constraints. Yo, dude, I've been playing Dark Souls two for like five <laughs> weeks straight. <laughs> Excuses, dude. Um, uh. I get. I guess my favorite episode is whenever um, they they brought that shark onto the the wharf or whatever. Don't know. It starts just, on yet. It's just it just started destroying the town. Have you seen that? Now, for me, the episodes I've seen is I saw a couple with my brother and um, his like his roommates, um, but I never watched it on my own. I always watched it with them. I just like a couple of days ago started watching it from season one and on. Another episode that I might change my mind about this later, but I think for now is my second favorite is I really love the documentary episode where the guy comes and like calls him up, tells him about like how he. He's a murderer, and he's like doing a documentary on Bob, and like he has to see by the end of the week if he wants to kill the cow or not. Oh God, no! That one I thought I thought. Ooh, Lissa. I probably have. Yeah, it, it, got, it got a little too. Yeah, that that weird. That one zero to sixty. That one got no time. That one got a little too weird at the end for me because I feel like that kind of just takes away from Bob's character the fact that he wanted to make out with a cow. Um, makes his character a little weird. There's nothing, There's nothing wrong with uh, the relationships between a man and cow. Um, spoken like a tree. Do you remember the episode where um, the guy who like is kind of like the landlord for all these businesses, and he gets them all to like in this whole water balloon fight war? I think it was to like the, the winner yeah. like doesn't have to pay rent or something. I think I remember that episode. Yeah. And then at the end, like, he turns everyone against Bob, so, like, Bob's running for his life from everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. I remember that one very vaguely. Yeah. Another one I remember is the cook-off episode where there's, like, a competition that Bob's at with, like, two other chefs. I, re- <laughs> I remember the one where Tina is at this party that either she was invited to or it was her party, and, like... Uh, Gene is like man doing all these booths or something, and Gina gets stuck in some giant nose. No, no, that that was that one girl's party. Yeah, that yeah, really snobby. Yeah. It was her bar mitzvah or whatever. That's right. <laughs> that uh, no, I, my my second favorite episode is when it's Tina's birthday party, and Bob was staying up like all night to drive a cab. I, I just saw them like, this yeah. morning. He got super drunk and invited a whole bunch of transsexuals yeah. over to, the, to his daughter's <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> that one's really funny, and it also kind of like is one of the episodes that has like the heartfelt moment in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that yeah, that one that one is really good. I I'd actually, as of now, I'd say it's one of my favorites. But I'm still in season one, yeah. but like it already is becoming one of my favorite shows. Like that's how fast it was. Like it's it's every episode makes me laugh, and I'll. It makes me laugh a lot. I haven't seen an episode I've hated yet. I'm sure there will be one, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, man. This has been a great duck cast, guys. You know? It's actually, I actually think it's been a good one. I, th- I kept, agree. We kept the ball going. I like it. I think episode 10 was the worst one. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> the ending, though, was my favorite, possibly. One of my the favorite ending moments. Was great. Yeah. The ending was freaking great when I make my speech. And then I kick out of the call. <laughs> and then I just I just open up the drawing tool and don't know how to close it. And I try to open up the internet to make it even more funny, but I can't, so I'm just failing miserably. And then you call, and then I have you on on speakerphone. And oh, jeez. Go the watch episode our, ten, by the way. But uh, our last episode. Yeah. It was me, Zach, and his friend Chris, and my friend too. But they know each other. Not like, your friend. Not your friend. No, don't you? Okay, I guess that. Chris aren't friends. Um. <laughs> But I guess that, uh, oh God, um, at one point I was just like, okay guys, 
I, I, I have an announcement. I don't remember exactly how it worked. I, I even put it I in the saw, vlog. You even saw that today. I saw it today, yeah. What did I say? You said, like, okay, guys, someone's going to get voted off the island. No, no, but what did I say before? It? Like, what was, how, I, how did I start it off? No, you, it was just nothing. Honest to God, I remember watching the clip. It was just like we were silent, and then out of nowhere, you just said, okay, guys. I said, okay, guys, it's official. And you're like, what's official? Oh, someone's yeah. going to. And I said, somebody's going to be voted off the island. The and then, like, was so good. And then, like, I just, like, um, a couple seconds later, kick Zach out of the call. But that was because, that was because like, someone's going to get voted off the island, and I was just like, goodbye, like, sarcastically, like, not thinking you were actually going to kick me out of the call, and then you kick me out, and I'm just, like, laughing hysterically. <laughs> and Zach's recording, so me and Chris are out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so really, Zachary was the only one who stayed. Well, you came to the end and then said bye. And, and yeah, I called, I called him on his phone trolling. because he couldn't get back on Skype after that. He messaged me. That he was Skype like, what's going on? And I just didn't message him back. The fact that Skype closed made it perfect, too. Because not only did you get kicked out, but I'm you so, couldn't get back I'm on. I'm so glad that parts of it were blocking um, the chat. Because when I posted on, on the vlog, you know, like my channel's like PG or whatever. I remember... Um, a few seconds after, like, getting out of the whole, you know, rate Skype thing, whatever, there was, like, some things in the chat that was, like, you know, just saying the F word or something. I'm like, oh, thank God, it ended there with the hysterical laughing. Uh. I saw something yesterday, and this is, like, going off a completely different topic. Now, I don't know how much time we have left before this yeah, episode. We're at about 51 minutes. Let's go, let's go for an hour. Okay. We'll should I, you know, damn you. <laughs> this, is you only, to... this is only part one of a seven-part episode, by the way. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs> After this, we can get to doing the Such recording, Brian. Cool. We won't chat on Skype anymore. So this is like going to be us wrapping up, Zach. Okay. 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 No, not just not just as a show for the episode, but as people. All right. You are so, done. You are so preachy today. You're preachy. You're preachy. I'm Zachary and Fulton. Don't you ever call me preachy. No, That's my, not my name. Look at my birth cool. certificate. Well, Zachary, now I have no confidence. Now Brent's I'm not going to be able to... Thoughts, now, anything. During Brent's gaming show, I'm just going to be all upset because you insulted me. Oh, we can just quack our way to victory. Just quack our way to victory. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our outro. Goodbye, everybody. And remember, quack our way to victory. Do, 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 do. That'd be great. We're doing it for Brent's channel, but I just realized how perfect Duck Game would be for the Duck Brigade. <laughs> yeah, well, you fuck we'll up. call it that from now you on. Fuck up. Und like, Duck Gaming, Dad Die, whatever the thing is called, uh, Undertale, episode 57,986, however more you're doing. Some time to get past to get past Undyne, man. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Keep editing <laughs> in. Don't edit it. You know? Don't do any funny edits. Just keep it from the time you hit record to the time you stop recording. Upload a video to YouTube. Say that again, you're lagging. His webcam is frozen, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a good day for uh, Exploding Duck Brigade and Exploding Duck Brigade history. It's the worst. Oh no. Oh great. Fantastic. The call has been. God, this is like the last episode. Ish. We've had the. What? What's in the trap? What's in the trap? Can't open up the chat. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes, he got dropped. I know he got dropped. Okay, so it just cut off the recording out of nowhere, uh, right when Mike got back in the call. Uh, Brent's piss. Yeah, Brent's I don't know if he'll, be, he'll probably be back for the end. Okay. I hope so, he is. I hope our dear Brent is return. So, uh, 53 uh, minutes in and it just cuts off. God damn it. Guess I shouldn't have bought the full version of Bandicam. Okay, ten more minutes, part of the episodes. We're going back to that. This technology nowadays, I hate it. Mm -mm. I, I watch this YouTube channel that does comic dubs. Uh huh. And this is a really weird story to tell, and I'm going to tell it anyway because I laughed hysterically, and then yeah, Cody thought it was yeah. weird that I thought it was so funny, but I think it's hilarious what I read. Okay. Um, <laughs> and there was this comic. Um, and like the, the, they do a bunch of, like I said, do a bunch of comic dubs, and the one that they did was an Undertale one. And the Undertale fandom's a little too weird for me. They like to draw frisk in sexual ways, and that's weird since it's a child. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, often they'll make her an adult before they do it, but I still think it's weird. But there was one, I guess, I, I don't remember which one it was. There was one where she was wearing shorts, I guess. And then someone in my comments said, could you, could you, oh God, I'm going to start laughing again. Could you, can you send me a link to the one where she's wearing shorts? Don't ask why. And then someone made a, made a response saying, <laughs> someone left a response saying, you want to masturbate, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to masturbate, don't you? Don't you, Squidward. That was what got me. Was the profile picture Squidward? No, I'm just imagining like it was like because it's from an episode where it says you like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Yeah, like, okay, yeah. They're bait, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like choking on a piece of popcorn right now. Damn it! God, I'm so fucking burnt. <laughs> <laughs> you want to masturbate to the picture, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> I was laughing this hard. I'm glad that you think it's funny because Cody was just like saying. Al- Wait, well, he did. <laughs> he did think it was funny. He did. <laughs> Damn it, Cody! I don't want him on the podcast oh, anymore. He actually said in a Squidward voice after that, "It's not that funny." <laughs> I love Cody. Oh, uh, uh, Ryan, you just, you just oh, missed God. a story that made us quite a bit. <laughs> um. I went pee. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, we know you went pee. You went urinating for like 5,000 minutes. When when the call, like, ended, um, it was, like, all weird for a while, and then Mike came back and it just stopped the recording. And we were just talking for another mi- a minute or two. And it then, like, I, we, I realized, like, oh, we're not recording anymore. Uh, we're, we're recording right now, by the way, just so you know. But... Jump up the building. What's up? You're very laggy. Yo. Should I retell the story for Brent? God, when Brent gets back on the call, everything is just hey, terrible. Man. God. Man. Today's the worst. Oh, but I'm actually disconnected from Skype, it says. You're disconnecting from Skype, it says. Great. Great job. Am I good? No, you're not good. You are very not good. What the fuck? Everything is fucking weird. Why are you being so much a hater? Why you gotta be so rude? Because you're black. You guys hear me now? Very terribly, yeah. You're robotic. I... Should we just wrap it up? I need to say something else, so no, hold on. What the hell? (laughs) Am I good? Uh, just keep going until it gets worse. Just keep going. Going until it gets worse. Going until it gets worse. Is it worse now? Is it worse just now? Just keep Is talking. Say what now? you need to say already. It's decent quality. Is it good though? It's decent. It's alright. It's at least decent. So just talk. Okay, all I was going to do is do the reminder, like you said I was going to, okay. where we're going to answer questions next oh, yeah. episode, if you've got any, and I'll probably, we'll probably do the, I don't want to wait like two weeks to do the next DuckCast again, I said we should try to do one again next week. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I gotta edit yep. and upload a video, so... I still have to, I, oh, by the way, um, just a quick closing topic, um, won't say a lot about this, but I posted the first picture for, relating to the webcomic onto DeviantArt today. Oh, oh, cool. Um, which is, it's the character bios for Michael, and I'm gonna do probably Cody, Chris, and Zach now. Um, I'm gonna do them, like, probably tomorrow. I might do you last, Zach, just because I honestly got, I love the, I, I like drawing your character, but I consider him to be, like, the biggest pain in the ass to draw, and I still don't Still don't like exactly how he looks. Like I kind of want to make a few small changes. Have you even talked about this on the Duckcast before? Because people are probably just very oblivious to what you're saying. Last episode I did, but last episode it was going to be a series, an animated series. Okay. Yeah. Now it's going to be a comic, a, a web comic, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to image. Yeah, but uh, it has us in it: Mike, me, Cody, and Chris, not and not other people Chris. too. Like people like Brent, Nick. Alec Gage, other friends I have, like Austin Mitzi. I actually already drew designs for Olivia, Chris, Nick, Gage. Austin and Mitzi. Not me. Not you yet, Brent. You fucking suck. I hate you. <laughs> I'll put 
I'm gonna put you and Joanna in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just me kidding. and Joanna in. I'm probably gonna have you all's back. Oh great. Another lag. It's gonna disconnect, isn't it? It's gonna, gonna be bad. Oh, there the you Mac go. Mac freezes. Oh. <laughs> Let's end it. Oh, there you it, 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 you're, you're frozen at one point, then the second point you're just covered with a shirt, and it's like, okay. Just end it. <laughs> just end my misery. Is Stop that, the duck Please hat. tell me that's your hand on the bottom of the screen that I just saw. It looked very obscene. Oh, oh, it's your mouth. You did it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not done yet. What are you doing, Brent? Hey, Brent, how about you sign off for us? Hello. Brent? Hello. Sign off. Sign off, Brent! I'm here. Brent, you want to sign off for us? Why do you change your picture to Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Great. I'm gonna highlight Brent's message about him going to piss, and that's how we're gonna end it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton and Brent having the piss. Brent, thank you for ha being on the Tuckcast. Doesn't say anything. Great. Okay, bye everybody. Bye! Why'd my webcam go off?